Hi guys, Dave Waring here again with digitalbrainbase.com. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the different options I have for accessing and securing my open web UI, starting with the most secure option of operating completely offline and moving all the way to the opposite end of the spectrum, which is connecting my open web UI to the internet using third-party AI models via APIs and even accessing my open web UI through any device where I have an internet connection. So let's get started. Okay, so the first option is what I refer to as the Fort Knox option, and that is operating my open web UI completely offline on my computer only. The advantage to this option is, as long as I'm sure that no one has access to this computer, it's 100% private and secure, but I can still use the AI models that I've downloaded locally on this computer. So as you can see right now, I'm not connected to the internet and I've asked what's the capital of North Carolina and it gives me an answer. And that's because I'm using an AI model that is downloaded onto this computer. And I can use this with whatever data that I have on this computer. So for example, if I'm hyper concerned about privacy and security because I'm uploading client information or patient information or something like that, to my open web UI, then I can still run AI models on that that have been downloaded locally onto the computer, run it completely offline and still do analysis with those locally running AI models on that data while ensuring that as long as no one has access to this physical computer, it's 100% private and secure. The first downside of this option is I'm only gonna be able to run smaller AI models on most consumer grade computers. So it's gonna be slower and the quality of the answers that you're going to be able to get are likely not going to be as good as what you're gonna be able to get if you connect to the internet and use a state-of-the-art model via the API. The second disadvantage here is because I'm not connected to the internet, I can only run analysis in my open web UI using AI models on data that's on this computer. So if I wanna summarize a podcast or a YouTube video or any internet related data, uh, I have to bring that over from another computer uh, in order to do so. And lastly, I can only use my open web UI when I'm physically sitting at this computer. So those are the downsides. And now let's go on to the second option, which is connecting my uh, open web UI to the internet, but only using local AI models. Okay, so now I've connected my open web UI to the internet, but I'm still only using local AI models. So the advantage to this is I'm not sending any data from my open web UI out to the internet to third-party AI models. So all my data is staying secure from that standpoint, but now I can use the internet and resources from the internet. So for example, if I want to summarize this getting started guide from open web UI, I can do that, please summarize. And Open Web UI is gonna go out and grab the information from that link and it's going to summarize it for me. Uh, so I can bring information in and as long as I'm following good security practices, no information goes out. Because I'm also connected to the local area network now in my house to use the internet, I can also now use my Open Web UI from any device that's connected to that same local area network as long as I have the username and password for my open web UI. So now I'm over on my phone and you can see that I just put in the IP address followed by colon 3000. And now I can access the open web UI that's running on the laptop that I'm talking to you on now. And you can see it's showing the same chat that I just did with you on my laptop now on my phone. So as long as this computer is turned on and connected to my local area network, I'm gonna be able to access my open web UI from any other device that's connected to this same network, so long as I have my open web UI username and password. The downsides of this option are that I'm still going to be limited to the slower and smaller uh, AI models that can run locally on my computer and I've opened up two additional potential security issues, which are one, my network security. I need to make sure that no one gets access to my network and has my open web UI username and password. And also now that the computer is connected to the internet, that opens up that security risk as well. But as long as I'm following good security practices, I can be sure that no information is leaving the computer that I'm operating my open web UI on. I'm only bringing information in from the internet. Okay, so now we're on to the third option, which is to use my open web UI while it's connected to the internet and also using it with the API connections to third-party AI models. So the advantage of this is this allows me to use the state-of-the-art AI models within my open web UI. So here's OpenAI's model, the same one that uh, people use when they're using ChatGPT. And I'll say, uh, teach me how to trade options. 
<clears throat> and you can see how fast that comes versus the local model and it's also the state of the art model. So that's the big advantage here is you can now use the most powerful AI models. The disadvantage here is now I am sending information out over those APIs to the third party AI model provider. So you need to trust that they're not going to do anything that you don't want them to do with that data because that data is now leaving your computer and it's being sent to the AI model provider so that it can run inference on that and then send the answer back to your open web UI. But another really cool thing about using open web UI is in the cases where I don't care if data is being sent out to a third party API provider, I can use the state of the art models but I still have access in the cases where I do care if my information is sent out via an API to use the local model. So here I can just switch over to Llama 3.2, which is a locally running model. And I can say again, explain options trading or upload client information or whatever it is. And this time I'm sure that the information is staying on my computer because it's running uh, the inference off of the locally stored AI model only on this computer and not sending any information out over an API. Okay, so now we're on to the fourth and final option, which is to access the computer that is running your open web UI from any device that's connected to the internet. We'll do this using a tool like Ngrok or Cloudflare Tunnels, which creates a secure connection that you can use to access the computer that's running your open web UI from any device that's connected to the internet. And that's the upside to this is you can use your open web UI only with local models or with local models plus API connected models. You can run it on your computer and then you can access that computer via that secure connection. So you can use it on your phone and, and wherever you are in the world, as long as that computer is turned on through a tool like Ngrok or Cloudflare Tunnels. If you'd like to know how to set all that up, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Either way, I'd love it if you'd liked and subscribed to the channel if you uh, got value from this video. And we hope to see you in the next one. Take care.